The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of how to find cases in Lexis Advance. You can find cases in Lexis Advance through a combination of browsing and searching methods using the Lexis Advance search box. Let's first take a look at how to find cases by searching by citation. To search by citation, simply enter your case citation, click search, and your case should appear. To search for cases by terms, you will first want to limit your search parameters. You can limit your search parameters by content type, which would be cases, jurisdiction, such as U.S. Federal and Georgia, and by practice area, if one applies to the type of case you are looking for. Selecting a practice area is not always necessary, but you should at least select cases and the jurisdiction you want to search. Once you have selected your search parameters, then you can enter your search terms. Let's look for cases dealing with adverse possession. We enter our terms, click search, and our results will appear. You can narrow your list of results by searching for other terms within the results, or by selecting one of the filters along the left side of the screen. To browse for cases on a specific topic, you would first click on Browse Topics. From there you can select a topic from the list provided or search for a topic using the topic search box. If we click on Real Property Law, you can see that there is another list of subtopics under that main topic. You can further drill down for subsidiary topics under Adverse Possession or you can click on Adverse Possession and add that topic to the search box. or you can select Get Topic Documents. Get Topic Documents will retrieve all of the documents that have been assigned adverse possession as a topic. You can narrow this list of results by searching within your results using keywords or by using the filters on the left side of the screen. The filters you will use most often are Jurisdiction, Court, Timeline, which will allow you to select a specific date or range of dates, publish status, and source. To enter a case, you would click on the case name. To browse for cases by sources, you would first click on Browse Sources. From this screen, you have a couple of options. We will leave All selected in the right column. The narrow function on the left side of the screen will enable you to search for sources by name or keyword and limit sources by content type and jurisdiction. If we are looking for cases, we would select cases under content type. Next you would choose your jurisdiction. To see only federal cases, click on U.S. Federal. Now you can select the courts you are looking for from the list provided on the right. When you click on a particular court, such as the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals, you will have three options. View all information for this source will provide you with content, description, and coverage information. Add this source to the search. We'll add this source to your search bar. That way when you run a search you will only be searching through this particular source. And save this source as a favorite which will enable you to quickly access it next time you want to search it. To remove one of the filters you, s you have selected on the left side of the screen, click the X beside the filter. If you wanted to find Georgia Supreme Court cases, we could select the Georgia filter under Jurisdiction, and then Georgia Supreme Court cases. Now that we know how to find a case in Lexis Advance, let's explore what one looks like. A case in Lexis Advance should look fairly similar to one that you would access in a printed reporter. The caption is located at the top of the case and includes information on the case citation, the party names, the court, the date it was decided, and the docket number. Below the caption you will find parallel citations for the case and other reporters. You will also find the full party names.
In some cases, you may also find subsequent history and prior history. If you scroll down the page, you will find the case summary. The case summary provides information on the procedural history, a brief overview of the facts of the case, and the outcome. Next, you will find the Lexis headnotes. We will not discuss these at length right now, but you should know that they summarize points of law within the case. The number of headnotes will vary based on the length of the case and the number of legal issues involved. You can jump down to a portion of the case that discusses a particular issue by clicking on the headnote number. Following the headnotes you will find the syllabus, which is not a part of the opinion, but does provide a quick reference to the facts of the case and the holding. After the syllabus you will find information on the attorneys and the judges in the case. Finally you will come to the opinion. At the beginning of the opinion you will find which justice or justices authored the opinion. Throughout the opinion you will notice bracketed numbers. This is the pagination for the case. The page numbers apply to the text that appears after the number. If you change the reporter you are viewing, the page numbers will change to match that reporter. For example, if you wanted to see how the case looks in Lawyer's Edition, you would go back to the top of the case, find the Lawyer's Edition Reporter Parallel Citation, and then click on that citation. Now when we return to the beginning of the opinion, you will notice that the bracketed numbers have changed to reflect how the pages appear in that reporter. Another thing to note in a case is that cases, statutes, and other legal materials that are mentioned in the case will be hyperlinked so that you can access them instantly. You should also notice green boxes with numbers throughout the case. These are the footnotes from the case that can be accessed by clicking on the green box. The last couple of features to point out about a case in Lexis Advance are the print and save functions, which are located at the top of the case on the left, the page function, which lets you jump to a specific page or pages of the case, and Shepardize. Shepardize takes you to the Shepherds report for the case where you can find case history, analysis, and the treatment of the case. We will talk about Shepherds at length in another video. That is it for your overview of cases in Lexis Advance.